Hello everyone, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Um, today's video is going to focus on uh, your power needs for your EV3 robots. Um, I have five classes, uh, actually three of the classes are with the EV3 robots and you know power is going to be a, a heavy issue and what I'm going to do is show you around the room what I've set up for my power supply and making sure that students know exactly where and how to charge their EV3 robots. So let's go around the room and take a look. Okay, so around the room uh, I have these charging station signs. So students need to know when and where to charge their robots. Um, I need to let them uh, be independent uh, to know uh, that their robot needs to be charged and where to go. So. Uh, all they do is look around these rooms, find the charging station signs, and they can plug their robot in. So, if a student needs their robot charged, I have them put their robots in a shoebox. This way, um, you know, if any pieces fall off, they fall into the box, and it's labeled so I know who they are. And all they will do is charge their robot and leave it there overnight. So I have uh, many places for them to charge their robots charging station come over here charging station over here charging station so I have uh, three classes of Lego robotics with the EV3 Mindstorms kit so that we're talking over 60 robots so at any given time I need them to be able to just come over here let the robot charge overnight and the next day they are good to go so hopefully that helps with your charging uh, needs or just information on maybe an idea of how to uh, have your robots get charged. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.